In this video, I'm going to show you how to divide three and four digit numbers by a one digit number, but leaving a remainder. So previously we have looked at renaming and now we are moving on to remainders. And remainders are where things don't divide equally and we have something left over at the end. So I'm going to show you how to handle that. So we will start off with our question and write in our number sentence. So it's 3,932 and we're dividing this by three. Okay, so our number sentence is ready. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to plot this into our place value chart. So just like before, I'm going to use dots or counters. Um, it doesn't matter what you want to call them. So I'm just going to go ahead and place them in. So we have two in our ones column. So there's two. We have three in our tens column. One, two, three. We have nine in our hundreds column. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And finally, we have three in our thousands column. One, two, three. So the process is the same as it has been the past few days. The only difference um, comes when we get to the end of this question. So just like before, we're divided by three. So we start off with our thousands. We start off on the left. So three divided by three makes one that means that there needs to be one counter or dot in each group so i'll just split that off there so we've got three equal groups of one then we come to the hundreds column so we've got nine divide that by three we know that nine divided by three is three so we know we need three dots in each group and we have three equal groups next is the tens column and we have three in our tens column again we've done this so three divided by three makes one there is one in each group and finally we come to the ones column and there is just two in the ones column we divide that by three now we can't do two divided by three because three is greater than two okay so i'm just going to put a question mark there and that tells me I can't do this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those two spare, those two left over, and these become my remainder. So my remainder come off the place value grid. They go to the side. I'll put R2. So now if I take everything together and I write total, I've got 1,000. I've got 300. I've got one in each 10 groups. That's one. Now, in my ones column, I haven't got anything in the groups. I've got no groups. So that still needs to be a zero to keep the place value. And then I have my remainder. So I know I have a remainder of two because that is what was left over at the end.